Hey man, Diamond Stone TV, man, bringing y'all another exclusive interview, man. We back on Ferguson Unit, man, with OG Percy, man. I do not want uh, any of the fans to be confused, man. Um, this everything about Ferguson Unit is gonna be after 103rd Suge left. That's the man that basically left in the keys to Ferguson Unit. Um, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel, man. Let's get into it. I walk over and I get the double to him. And guess what he do? And they say, I'm getting ready to leave tomorrow, man. And you got niggas been in this penitentiary 21 years, 18 years, 13 years, 12 years, 7 years, 6 years, 4 years. I ain't been here too. This man just gave me the key to the seat, to the set. He said, I'm leaving, I'm leaving the set to Percy. Everybody. What the fuck? Who oh, made? Did he just say my name? <laughs> it's like a nigga call you for a war to the front. Did he just said person? He said I'm leaving the keys with person. Niggas like, oh man, hell no. Nah. What the? But they can't do that. Hey, when the decision has been made, and the, and the judge hit the hit the gamble. Yeah. You can't take that time back. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. And he did that. I'm like, damn. I'm the man. <laughs> nigga put his arms around me and he walked me out. And Suge, right now, call it 103rd Suge, Great Street. Y'all know who he is. Carlos Suge. Yeah, that nigga, yeah. Carlos' brother, Big Suge. The Big Suge. Big Murder a long is. time ago. Murder a long time ago. 18 flat. Come on, cool. Y'all ain't talking about shit. Real nigga. They were killing for before you niggas started this week shit. He left me the key and he walked me out and he talked to me. And he told me the game. He said, you see these Mexicans, these white boys? He said, man, and he told me right then, this part right here is the easy part. Getting along gonna be the hard part. You gonna have to think, person. You gonna have to think now. Now, my thing is this. This could be a setup. <laughs> or I could be set up. You know what I'm saying? To the top. Yeah. Yeah, that part. So you really take that, that, that chance, man. The title. I had been working on it from day one when I came through the door, you hear me? Yeah. But I wasn't looking for that. No, no, no diggity, no doubt. It's too many real niggas. Shout out to homie Blue Jay. Shout out to the homie Peace Shoe, Blue Hand. Yeah, King Shoe. What's up, cuz? Yeah. Bad boy. So yeah. This is crazy, bro. Like, look, I don't mean to interrupt you, like, so when you say that you had, cause I always heard you with, um, with the battle raps and stuff like that, I always hear you say Ferguson unit, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna stun with you, um, I, I knew that you was talking about the prison, but I just didn't know that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You actually ran that shit. Yeah, like. Come on, uh, uh, hey, what that, what that you can't say on this motherfucker is dumb fake. These yeah. niggas can be fake if they want to. If we wrote? Yeah, we good. What's it? Yeah. One thing I know about prison, there's too many niggas that been down there, this nigga still down there. They're gonna sit and worry back and let the world know you ain't that nigga, you just said you would. I've been saying this to you niggas on YouTube. I got niggas on the motherfucker. Shout out to the homie Como. Yeah. Shout out to uh uh C note. Good. Pitch, pitches of real niggas all over this motherfucker. I done been down. I've been doing this thugging for years. You niggas, when you go to prison, man, one thing I tell you about gang banging, it's easy in the streets. You niggas get to hide on any side of town in your mama house, garage, all you get to hide anywhere in this motherfucker. Ain't no hiding nerve. Yeah. Yeah. So so when you had um so you said he gave you the talk and told you you're gonna have to start. Yeah, I'm gonna start using my head instead of these. I was an enforcer. That's all I did. I was known as an enforcer in prison. Enforcer, I'm strictly for violence. I'm bringing, I'm here, I'm, I'm here, I'm, I got, I, and I built a team of niggas just like me. You couldn't hang on how, how I know that you square business? Cause we just looked at you when you came through the door. Yeah, yeah, you ain't coming through that bitch. And I was just doing that for five deuce. Yeah. Guess what? When Shug left, <coughs> we started checking Crips. That's where we had a problem at. When Shug left the penitentiary and gave me the keys to my little old block over here, I stopped calling shots for um, Five Deuce and started calling shots for Crips. Right. Yeah, that means I don't give a fuck what you is. If your last name ended Crip, we finna get that. Yeah, we finna, we, finna, we finna check you out. Some niggas like, well, hold on, man. That, that nigga four trade, man. Hold on, man. That nigga six nine. Hold on, man. That nigga, that nigga this trade. That nigga this trip. That nigga, I don't give a fuck what he is, nigga. Cause you can't be putting your hands on us. So what y'all wanna do? 
It's too late, nigga. So I went to the main nigga in charge, which was the homie Blue Jay, out of Dallas. What's yeah. up, Blue Jay? Shout out to the homie Blue Jay, free my nigga. He already has some detail right now. Had the real keys back there in the, in the motherfucking solitary confinement. Back there, goddamn me, four or five years at a time, nigga. Can't come out. Call all the motherfuckers. Shout the top tier, nigga. And shout out to the homie Seth Said. Still down there doing his life sentence. Yeah, yeah, he was the keys to the street. And so niggas say, man, when Blue Jay get out, he ain't gonna have that. That nigga ain't just so one day I never forget, man. I heard Blue Jay was out. And now I had been rocking. I got I come to find out when he left me the keys, he didn't leave me the keys to the block. He left me the keys to the streets, nigga. That mean from this cell down, all the way down to the end of this motherfucking penitentiary. You run all crib blocks, nigga. Okay, so So, so I get to call the shots for So what damn, that's a whole So you had two big dogs like yeah. like give you Yeah. I had two niggas that was over me. That, that was over me, but I call them niggas the, you know, it's like the Illuminati. Yeah. Know, it's real. Because guess when you get in with them niggas, you in with security and everything. Yeah. With the warden. I was in the warden calling my mama with my motherfucking foot on the goddamn, oh, oh, on the goddamn dresser just like that. You hear me? With the warden on the phone. You know what I'm saying, nigga? My mama used to say, person, person, how you sitting there calling me on the phone? I got my feet, I got my feet kicked up, mama. I'm sitting there goddamn warden out there like this, talking to you on the phone. They, they sitting right here listening to me, mama. And they tell my mama, how you doing? Yeah, we let him use the phone again. Yeah. The, the laws came and told me, it's three things in her motherfucking penitentiary that if I can do, I can do anything I want. She said, don't start a racist war. Don't start a racist war. Right. Don't start a gang right. Don't start a racist right. Don't start a racist war. And don't kill none of her guards. Don't fuck with her guards. Yeah. Don't start a racist ride. Don't kill none of her guards. What's her main motherfucking focus? She said, you do that, you can have everything you want in this front of She said, y'all can keep doing your little chicken. I know what's wrong with these guys. They kind of in the eyes. What do you just mean? They just got chick. We've been knowing you was chicken. The lady told me, we've been knowing you was chicken. Yeah. You been knowing? Y'all ain't saying nothing? Nah, we've been knowing. They come down here every week. Goddamn, he's looking like that. We already know. They must be Crips. We heard how y'all do it every night on that wreck yard. I'm fighting me three or four niggas a night. Right, so what was the reason? Why was you checking all the Crips? Check. Though? Let me tell you why I was checking Crips. Shout out to my blood nigga drummer. Shout out to my blood nigga Beasley. Al Ferguson nigga. Y'all get the shout outs too. Yeah, and if I leave some of you niggas out, don't get the trip, man. Check this out up. Why was I checking? Right. The reason I was checking niggas when they was coming through the door in that penitentiary, man, because guess what? If you said you was a Crip, one day I was in the penitentiary, man, I was looking at a football game. Shout out to my nigga Zach. Excuse me, Zach. My bad, Zach. Yeah, yeah. And the baby. Yeah. Um. Because I seen a nigga do the drop it like it was hot one time. Wow. And this was a crip nigga. I seen a nigga run around here the seas and whoop, whoop, whoop. And then the sun came on that motherfucker. That nigga did the drop it like it's hot. And nigga was over there, hey, oh, oh. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I, I looked up to see what's going on. So I say, cuz, that's supposed to be a crip. Yeah, cuz, so I'm like, that's a crip over there dropping his like it's hot. And he think he, he a crip? I feel like Denzel Washington right now. I'm putting cases on all you motherfuckers. That ain't how that shit's supposed to rock. Not where I'm from. Fort Worth, we're a different breed of crip, nigga. Fort Worth, the first city that ever started gang banging in Texas, nigga. The first city to ever bang in Texas. This nigga, and we ain't never, move, our bodies don't move like that. You know what I'm saying? Number two, I looked out for crip niggas when they came through the door. I made sure crip niggas had, I had $2,700 on my book. I can take care of any crip nigga I wanted to. I don't pay for protection. I work in the kitchen, I don't gotta buy a motherfucking thing, you hear me? And I looked out for Crip niggas, but one thing I wasn't gonna do, look out for a hoe. Yeah. You can't come in here that you know Crip get you a free package, nigga, you hear me? I need t-shirt boxes, drawers, noodles, soups, and everything, you gonna get out of that. Because, but when you stand up for your motherfucking self, first of all, Crip niggas come in there talking about they Crip just to live off the land. You dig what I'm saying? Right. And I see this nigga do the drop it like it's hot, ain't no way he can be a Crip, man. Right, so let me see what this nigga goddamn fight. And he wouldn't even fight, man. Mm. Nah, for this, from this day forward, we check. It. And one thing I check for, when I'm out here checking, I'm checking to see if a nigga gonna run to his fight or run from his fight. 
I'm trying to see if the nigga got something. I'm trying to see what we can use the nigga at just in case something really jump off. I don't want to get no nigga, he run down there and get smashed, get smashed. That damn me. Cause like I say, you know, when we checked him, he did do some scratching. He got the hard, he just ain't got his game right right now. You know what I'm saying? And guess what, he wasn't no hoe, he didn't say nothing, he just got out there and got his paper. He did try to go get his paper. He didn't run around and let nigga chase him around like he was scared to fight. But you know what type of nigga we were dealing with. Cause some niggas you gotta push him out there to get it. Right. God damn it, some niggas willing to go on out there and get it. Some niggas ain't got nothing, but they got the heart to get out there and get it. We need all that. And we look for that in everybody, you know what I'm saying? Then where we can use you at, nigga, we can, we can put that nigga with the strong team. Somebody get with that nigga, show him how to get his hands right. Little Crip got something, he just needs to get this. Yeah, a couple more months, he come through there and slide anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So somebody put him in that corner and worked him out and got him right. It wasn't about no checking on nigga, I'm gonna tell you something. I walked out on the wreck yard one day. All Crip niggas know this shit. R.I.P. the Mon, man. Yeah. Shout out to Catfish in Dallas. All these niggas I'm saying is putting attention to Ferguson niggas. Yeah, that type shit. Yeah. yeah. Square business, Ferguson niggas. Yeah. I walked out on the record one day, I seen about a hundred niggas in a meeting. I was like, God damn, what's going on? He said, cool, they over there talking about you. I said, what? Hey, all them crips, that's, I'm looking at the thing, I'm over there working out, and I'm like, okay. And I knew one thing about Ferguson, nigga, they were good at curve flight niggas. When your time come, <laughs> shout out to Nate Boy, my bad Nate Boy. Yeah, yeah. When your time come on Ferguson, it's just like the movie. Y'all seen the movie, uh, American Me? Your time is up. Yeah. Even OG got stabbed at the end and threw off the motherfucking bathroom. At the end of the movie. He had been the OG through the whole movie. But when your time and your ticket is pulled, your ticket was pulled. And when niggas have a meeting without you, that means somebody, I mean, your ticket might be being pulled. Because you weren't invited. You only get invited when it's time to end this motherfucker. Yeah. So I was working at me and I was looking, man, and, um, I'm paying them, I'm, I'm all about hustling and working out. Okay, niggas ain't gonna say nothing. And niggas steady going, and I'm seeing these niggas over there who ride, and yeah, niggas was sudden. And then I'm like, oh, they having a good thing. But I'm, but I'm the dope G, though. I, I'm the, I wasn't invited to the meet. This is when you was about to get ready to. No, no, I'm not even, oh, I'm, I'm in the middle, I'm in the middle of my, I'm in the middle of checking everybody's progress. Yeah. It didn't matter, I'm, it, everybody crib, anybody crib. And there had to be a meeting because you know, niggas don't want, niggas 103rd, 43rd, and niggas this shit right here and this, that, and five dudes who against, they don't want me. Everybody getting checked like that. Cause Cud doing too much. Now he just taking, now, nah, that's what we doing. We ain't just checking our kind, we checking our kind. Niggas say they a crip, they, he gonna get checked. We don't give a damn. If he say anything, say crip on me. Hey, Fo Trey, yeah. man, what's up to Benny George, man? Yeah, you see? Yeah, goddamn me. E.T. You understand me? Man, say, you right. Drico, R.I.P. Drico, man, psycho. Come on, man. OG person, man. Nigga Como, Pat Wiz. Shout out to Pat Wiz. My nigga Lil Zach. Yeah. And Lil Zach was in the day room one time. Nigga ran up and tried to stab me and, and beat for me at the same time. Right. That's when I knew that little nigga was on my motherfucking side. I gotta always get that nigga's motherfucking card, man. Lil Zach, man. Nigga just came home four weeks ago, man. Yeah. He jumped up in front of that knife for his boy, man. He jumped up and said, fuck it, I'll fight this nigga. I said, nah, we ain't running up on no knives. We ain't running, we, ain't, we gonna let him put that knife down. When you put that knife down, he said, oh yeah, y'all don't wanna do it how I do it, huh? Y'all don't wanna, hey, hey, I'm gonna live to see another day. But you, after this day, won't live to see another day. You yeah. hear me? That type of shit. Yeah, and we was on that type of shit on Ferguson. I turned Ferguson into a whole different arena when I got there. Like I told you, when I got there, a nigga walked up on me first. Right, thanks. And when I got told you, you nigga never walked head. up on me again. again. Yeah. I walked up on the niggas from then on. I made sure that you did what I'm saying, and that wasn't a hard, that was, man, when you seen it happening. But anyway, back to the story at hand, they was having a meeting with that. When I went to the meeting, right. the meeting was, <laughs> who the fuck do I think I am? <laughs> Wait a minute. Suge left me this shit. <laughs> yeah. Now I dare you motherfuckers to turn your backs on me now. <laughs> yeah. So this me. So my nigga Mun. All right, man. Rest in peace. I carry this coffin, man. Rest in peace to my nigga Mun. Four Trey Mun. Echo Heights, man. Yeah. Big Mun. Y'all know him. Big Gorilla. Yeah. Called me over there to the scene. Because he felt like this ain't right. Y'all over here talking about a nigga that, that ain't that's standing right there. And y'all ain't came over and said nothing to him in his motherfucking face. The nigga called me to the meeting, I felt like I was being set up. The nigga said, say, man, 
I just need you to listen to what's going on, man. And, and then, you know, you're going to see now. He said, now y'all going to tell him what y'all was saying. So I'm standing around and I said, oh shit, these niggas finna get down. <laughs> get down on you. So um, I'm like, okay. He said, so Mon looked around, he said, say, ain't none of you niggas gonna say what y'all just saying about him when he was over there. I said, oh, this nigga trying to put a kid in these niggas back. You hear me? <laughs> I'm thinking, Mon, so I don't know who in on the plot. So I knew when he said that, it's a fuck shit finna go down. So I seen Mon take his shirt off. Ooh, god damn. On Gorilla. Big buff. I was god damn, nigga. He said, no, nah, fuck this. When you were just standing over there, these niggas had a whole lot to say about you. I called you over here. And then he said, if y'all don't start talking now, I'm finna start going you nigga mad. So a nigga jumped Bubba Cat. Shout out H-Town Bubba Cat. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you know I'm scrubbing. Nigga named Bubba Cat out of H-Town jumped up. Yeah, nigga. Hey, I'm gonna tell you what I see. I'm gonna tell you what I see. Oh my god, damn. He said, I wanna know where I'm telling I come to the jail. You trying to check everybody. You trying to check everybody come through the door. I'm like, okay, what's up? He said, I just want to ask you a question. Who checked you when you came through the door? I said, you right. I said, nigga, you come check right now. That's what you do. You come check. Yeah. You know, I didn't, you, you right. You right about that. I missed my check. When I got here, you whole ass nigga got to get them what they wasn't doing no more. You hear me? So I missed it. But you guess what? You come do it. They come like, no, man. We ain't come out here for all that. Nigga, no. Mom said, no. The nigga said, that day he called somebody out, because that was one of my rules. You get called out, you got to fight, nigga, or you got to go. That was my rules on my unit. I had three rules. Four. You, number one, you get called out, you don't fight, you got to go. Immediately. Yeah, we're going we gonna, we gonna, we gonna to curve flight you up out there, bitch, send you on the Yeah, we're going to smash you out and get you off the unit. Soon we see that you don't fight. My other three rules, no stealing, no bullying, no hogging. No stealing. No bullying niggas and no hogging niggas. You can't rock under my set like that. We don't do now one of the three. The white folks down there love me. Yeah, yeah, all my niggas. I told my niggas don't steal nothing, take something, nigga. And I don't know why I said that, because them niggas are doing some taking, you hear me? But it's be stealing, you hear me? Stealing some cowards. Nigga, take something, you're going to be a real nigga. But hey, I ran that nigga down there through that check. It wasn't nothing there said that night. But I was a scrub in this motherfucking nigga. Yeah. Yeah. You understand me? Let's show the joke. When a nigga tried to stab me in the day room and wouldn't put the knife down, I had, in this nigga, I had niggas trying to say, Nigga set me up to be for fair. They set me up for the GDs to murder me on the wreck yard. Shout out to my nigga, Baby D. Yeah, 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 off Forbes Street. Yeah, my big baby, Baby D. You know what time it is. Love you to death, nigga. My only nigga that came, they went out there to send the GDs to violate me, to kill me on the wreck yard. And I went out there and stood up like a soldier to all the GDs. And guess what the GDs told me when it came down to it right at the last minute? They said, you know what, man? We're not going to even do you like that because you a real square bitch nigga. You came out here knowing what was going to happen. But you going to stand up to the end. He said, man, we let you know. it's a lot of niggas here don't like you. They want to still do something to you. He said, next time you have a problem with one of our people, let us know, man. Don't, don't you, do it. And don't. You, you said that was the who? The GDs. If Diamond Stone sent me a motherfucking guy and say, say, cuz, get rid of TJ. I'm not gonna ask TJ what he did. Right. The kite didn't say that. Right. That's the type of nigga I was. You hear me? When it come from a square business nigga. Right. And the kite that came from a square business nigga was a square business nigga. He told me to take care of the situation, I took care of the situation. I came to find out the niggas I took care of with was some GD niggas. Hell, I thought they was Crips. <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna lie, because we were locking up with each other. Because I found out them niggas was GD, and we had smoke. Smoked it. And um, the word on the street, the GD was gonna have to do something about that or they were gonna look weak if they didn't handle it. So who did that? OG Percy did it. Oh, God. And he had to go again. But we had to send an arm in there to get him. But the thing that was so fucked up about it, how the Crip niggas left me out to dry. Yeah. yeah. How the Crip niggas left me out to dry for another game to violate a Crip nigga. Let me tell y'all something, nigga. Never in the penitentiary history have I ever heard of a blood gang violating a crib member. A Mexican gang <laughs> violating a, a black gang. A white gang violating a nip. It don't work like that. Niggas order in that bitch. Right. Gang violate their own people. You violate your own kind, but you crib niggas knew that and didn't even stand up for them. And guess what? When them niggas let me make it, guess what I did? I took off and went even hard on them crib niggas and them. Look at me. Now I'm real tough. 
Everybody gonna get back. We was checking at one at the door, now we checking two niggas at a time. We're gonna send two of them in there. Anything come. Everything is going up a notch. Cause I know now, there's some niggas around me wanna see me fucked out. And they, they, they lock seeds with me every motherfucking day. Right. Like sees me every day, sit around me every motherfucking day, but y'all wanna see somebody hurt me, y'all need to come out. I'ma say say it. They trying to violate Diamond Stone. Diamond Stone the crib. Don't know nigga, y'all even put your hand on no crib, nigga. You got life, nigga. Who said that? Well the GD's trying to get it down. See how we stay wood. Yeah. Them niggas GD, they better not touch a crib. And that's how I rock. But why was I the only nigga thinking like that? When it came down to we getting gangster. They let me know, nigga. I had to, I gotta to toughen my team up. And I did that. Right. Yeah. But yeah, back to these young niggas. These young niggas going to that penitentiary, man. These niggas going to find that's a whole different story in there, man. Right. I, I went through mine, but niggas ain't going to make it through that bitch like I did. Right, right. Them young niggas don't know how to think. They're not in condition. They can't breathe. They don't know how to catch their breath. They don't know how to fight. They don't know how to shoot. You dig what I'm saying? That little shit y'all learned, that bitch ass turn county down and lifting them water buckets. Like, that shit ain't going to work. That shit ain't going to work down in that penitentiary. And I'm telling these niggas, the realest thing I can tell a nigga to get anything else down, the only reason I made it after penitentiary was through God's grace and mercy, man. Right. Ain't nothing I did, man. Ain't nothing I did. You know how I know it wasn't nothing I did? You talking to a nigga that couldn't stay out of jail ever since I was 17 years old for nine months. Ever since I was 17 years old, I couldn't stay out of jail for nine months. Right. It was like I was on a countdown, you know, and, and, and guess what? And I did this with myself, and I failed the test every time. Hmm. Sometimes I was back in two two months. Sometimes back in six months. She hit. I almost got nine months and a couple of days. I mean, eight months and a couple of days in one time. But I could never stay out for nine months. Since I was 17, I was always incarcerated. I'm like, damn. This damn stress they made me sit in there and do? I don't brag about that. I've been incarcerated over 28 times, state jail four times, penitentiary five times. Like I said, I went to go get myself checked out and the man told me, say, you know you've been incarcerated, Mr. Dempson, half your life? One third yeah. of your life? One third? That means a little bit more, right? I'm like, damn. I'm like, no, sir. So we just evaluating to see where you were mentally to see if you fit for society to go back into society. Well, hell yeah, nigga, I'm ready to go home. See, <laughs> fuck what y'all talking about, you hear me? But then he told me something. I had to sit back and I'm like, damn. You know what? I got ready to go home. I made parole. After all the gangster shit I had put down on Ferguson, all the law. Hey, I had this old man, the only one nigga that I would sit on side of and talk to every day. Didn't nobody get to know me as a, a as who I was feeling wise. I didn't show that it was all business and violence with me. Old man knew my heart. Old man said, hey. Hey, bump me. Say, hey, I, I heard you going home. I said, yeah, I got my paper, man. I got it right here. Ah, he said, yeah, my boy's going home. He got the cabin, the cabin. He said, uh, I said, yeah. I said, man, we see whenever you get out there with me, we got damn me shit on. We gonna kick it, Pop. He like, Pop, stop. He looked at me. And he gave me a look he ain't never gave me since I had been down in that penitentiary. Like, what the fuck you looking like that for, Pop? He said, what the fuck you talking about? I said, man, when you going home? See, one thing I ain't never did to do since I've been knowing pops this whole time, ask because I, I, I'm a real nigga and I stick to the code of being locked up. I never asked a nigga about how much time they got. Mm. You hear me? I ain't never asked. It's supposed to be a fucker. All they say, oh, what's wrong with you? I said, shit, really, I ain't gonna lie, pops. I don't even, I don't, I don't, I don't even wanna go back out there, man. And they looked at me and said, what? I said, I don't, I, I'm, shit, look what I got here, nigga. I, I, I run, this my empire. <laughs> you hear yeah. me? This day I own this. This is me. I, I, man, I'm, I'm doing, look, I'm doing good. I'm feeling good. I'm looking good. Shit, man, I, I'm finna go out there. And, and, and. He said, man. Pops said, say, say, check this out. Do, do, do me a favor. He said, um, don't never ask me that question again. I ain't never going home. I got the whole thing, man. I said, you got the whole thing? He said, they gave me the whole thing. He said, well, do me a favor. Since we've been kicking it right, you, you fuck with me. I said, yeah, Pop, you the coolest nigga. I wish I could take you with me, man. Square business. I know. He said, well, I ain't never going home, man. I ain't never going home. He said, huh? but since you don't want to go, he said, do me a favor. Won't you go home and, 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 and live through me a little bit? Let me get a little freedom out there, man. 
He said, since your life don't mean nothing to you, after, shit, but in her, I wish me and you could trade places. He said, cause I ain't never going, you can take mine, you hear me? He said, I can go start over again. I was like, damn, nigga was saying something to me. Right. Nigga was saying something to me. He said, but let me tell you something, man. He said, you can, only way you gonna make it out there in that world, cause guess what? I didn't want to come back. I got tired of going and coming back. I already knew I was coming back. I, every time I went to the penitentiary, then nobody never tell me how to stay here. You dig what I'm saying? Then nobody never give me no game. I went and been a fool, come out of monster, the gorilla got lucky to get up back in there before a nigga killed me out here. Yeah. Yeah, I hurry up, get out real quick, and go ahead and, and do it all. What? This nigga knew when I came, nigga, the person out. Oh shit. We gonna close down to this nigga lock back up. Yeah. I'm going to every trap, every door, every do Yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, the same, same stupid shit, Pip. Yeah, I can't get mad at the little nigga. I did the same dumb ass mistakes in my life. Old man told me, say, before you walk out of here, he said, do me a favor. He said, you wanna know how to make it? I said, hi, he told me this right here. He said, you gotta leave that in here. I look at that nigga like, what? Yeah, he said, that right there. There you go, right there. He said, you gotta leave that. That right there, you gotta leave that in here, man. You can't, you can't, you can't go out there with this. Said boy, gonna kill you out there like that. You can't go out there with that. I said it. When he said it, it was something I hadn't heard. I've been down here all this motherfucking time. Ain't nobody never told me how to stay out. So I got damn me, I, I crunched myself down, and a tear started rolling out my eye. He said, "Yeah, man, leave that in here, man." He said, "You go a long way if you leave that in here." I said, "Man, that's what I need. That's 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 all I need is to hear is leave." Cause ain't nobody never t what? And guess what? When I walked out that motherfucking door, I left that shit in there, man. Right. You hear me? I left it in there. I left, I left, cause I guess what I knew. I knew when nobody gonna fight me out here. Right. They what? Who? Well. Yeah, and then the attitude I had, oh yeah, they gonna kill, yeah, I'm dead. This murder work, you gotta forget where you come from. Nigga keep you quick down here when they know yeah. they can't whoop. Right. Yeah, niggas ain't taking no embarrassments. Shit, who gonna get embarrassed for that girl? You trying to jump on them, nigga? Nah, nigga ain't finna fight. You just came home. Nigga, full of them blunt, full of that wine, full of, ain't in no condition. Nigga, you can breathe good. Your body hard as that goddamn wall, nigga. Hell nah, nigga, nigga, nigga can't hit you and hurt you nowhere. Nah. And I'm square business too with the hand. What? Who gonna fight me? Nah, when they gonna kill me? Shit. Nigga, I, nigga, I don't take nothing. Like I say, I don't. I don't discredit nobody, but I could have easily been an Eminem. I could have easily been a uh, Munchie Wayne. You know what I'm saying? I don't never think can't nothing, I, I, I can't never think that ain't gonna happen to me. I'm always scared. I told niggas, I'm, I'm scared. The only reason I do shit to niggas, cause niggas scare me. Shit, nigga, you look at me wrong, scare me. Yeah. Shit, you can yell at me too loud. Oh, you just scared me. You understand? Know don't scare me, and I won't fuck with you. <laughs> cause I ain't gonna try to scare you, you hear me? Right, right. Yeah, man. But the old man gave me the game. And I was the 13th, 2020. Yeah. I've been home 10 motherfucking years. I ain't seen now jail said I don't got a ticket, I ain't keep the cat or nothing, my nigga. Yeah. I can say I did that. I did that. Yeah. Gang wise, I did that. Penitentiary wise, I did that. Mastered that. Shit now, and I'm trying to find out what's after this. That's yeah. the mission I'm on right now. And the churches, you no, know, we, we got to go there too. Uh, yeah, don't, don't, don't get me wrong, I am. Now I do got to preach, person to preach, the true testament I do. Yeah. Keep getting on this right here. You niggas wait too long to grow up, nigga. By the time I grew up, I didn't grow up till I was 43 years old, man. I, I finally grew up at the age of 40 years old, man. Y'all said nigga old at that time. Nigga, I was still banging at 42 and 43. I was in a penitentiary. I ain't come home, man. You hear me? I had finally grown up. It took me, I looked up now, I'm 50. Only been, I've only been in the world 10 years. I've been behind 30. Shit, technology done moved on. Nigga understand me? Like I told you, I didn't grow up in the era of cell phones and YouTube. We got away with a lot of crime back then, nigga, when there wasn't no cameras. Yeah. Nah, it's like living in a caveman days. Born and rough, you mention that shit now? Yeah. You tell me, nigga, man, just imagine this world, man, we had no cameras, but guess what? We grew up in that world. I grew up, I came up in that world. Yeah. But, um. And I found out. There's a lot of these niggas out here. 
on a whole different level. I told myself I can go back to this motherfucking trap or I can get it right, man. I went back to the trap. I got it right. Right. I took out walking down land. I walked all the way down land, cast. I, I, I didn't know nobody going online doing jobs and shit. Hell, I was still filling out applications, man. <laughs> yeah, nah, for real. Nah, for real. I was still filling out applications. I got hired in the oil field. They sent me to Corpus Christi, man. Went out there and went to work my ass off. I said, fuck this, this is it, bro. Heard this, this, this is what the fuck I say the old man told me. Live for him, goddammit. You heard? Leave that shit behind, leave that penitentiary shit in there and come out here and, and find you some life, nigga. I looked up, I'm 50 years old. I hit them oil fields running. Nigga, coming home like $2,100 a week. Stand in the motel, money on your car, don't need nothing, get fat, don't think I have with a bitch. If I made some goddamn me sent, well I did, sorry Lisa. <laughs> you understand me? <laughs> and she married now. That poor. <laughs> yeah, but um I left it behind, man. Right. And that, that was the motherfucking key, man. Let me tell you something. A lot of you young niggas gonna go, I'm still institutionalized in a lot of ways, man. You understand me? That place will fuck you young niggas up. You young niggas going that motherfucker out, this is gonna be my last dedication to education too, man. My last dedication. You young niggas going in that place, that place is designed to destroy your mind, man. They got a lot of pills for you young niggas. Y'all you niggas going there trying to get high cause you in there cause you can't cope with the situation you in while you in there. Them niggas gonna tell you down there in prison, Percy never took a drug, smoked a cigarette or a joint, nigga. The whole time he was down there. Right here in the Jesus Christ my Lord and Savior. I never touched a drug in jail. Never touched a pill unless I was sick. And that was a cold buster. I never did a weed, a joint. I didn't do no dip, no hooch, didn't drink. Nigga, I got my shit together. I went out there and thought, how the fuck can I not keep ended up in this situation? It took me all that just to stay right out there. But guess what? It motherfucking worked. You young niggas gonna go in there and find out, man. Even right now today, I'm still, I know some niggas out here in the world still institutionalized, man. You understand me? But you know, it's, it's a good thing and it's a bad thing because it's a shame how the white folks have to brainwash us to make us be steel. Yeah. And they're going to either do it with the pills or you're going to get it on your own, man. You're going to be steel. I ain't no old nigga. I fight just as hard as the rest of you young ass niggas. Square bit. I'm lying. I'm, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm going to tell you something about me. I've always been a nigga to know hey, if I couldn't do something, I'm not doing it. <laughs> See? Now. No, no, man. If I can't do something, I'm not doing it. That, that, that's me. I always been that type of nigga, man. Thanks, you know what I'm saying, me? I'm not going to put myself in a situation so you niggas to goddamn me, YouTube me, or um, have me out there. I told y'all, nigga, laying out there on the street like this. And that's the OG person. Now I'm standing over me with cameras. Now, that shit going to be the opposite. Shit. When I'm big, I fight like Tyson. When I'm light, I fight like Mayweather. Now, that nigga run too much. You understand? Know I take most. <laughs> That's just for the record, y'all. <laughs> now I'll take Tyson on that issue. Yeah. 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 That's for the record, too, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Real talk, man. But hey, Diamond Stone, man. That's what time it is, man. Yeah. You know, I came home, man. Hit these motherfucking streets. And my kids ended up being the nigga that I used to be. So I tell my kids, man, I can't get mad at them. I can't get mad at the PMG. Free my son, little Percy, 84 in the feds, 18 in the state. Free my son, Pernell, yeah, 18, he on Ferguson unit right now. Fuck like, y'all talking about? Well, this. you got a son on Ferguson unit? I got, a, I got, I got, I got, a, I got a 19 year old son just turned 20, just hit Ferguson unit right now. Right. I got a call from the penitentiary. Yeah, I still get them type of calls. And the nigga told me, say, when my local niggas coming, shout out to the homie Doty. D-Town Doty, what's cracking, cuz? And he said, look out, cuz. I said, what's up? Who did one, one, one of the penitentiary guards call me? <laughs> that was a lie, there, boy. He said, hey, person, what's up? This is going to say, Miss O. Miss O gave me a call. Miss O said, say, um, Percy Doty want to talk to you. I said, my low Doty, yeah. Yeah, put Doty on the goddamn phone. Doty get on the phone. He said, look out, cuz. I'm like, what's up? He said, man, I'm sitting here playing domino with this nigga and this motherfucker, man. He just pulled up on this motherfucker, man, and all. Uh, we playing domino, we went to talking. And the nigga said, oh, and I'm going to show y'all how important this is, too, y'all. 
And uh, a nigga went out and he went to say, said, yeah, man, uh, we playing Domino. Little nigga seemed like a cool nigga. I asked him where he from. He said, fuck work. Then he said, yeah, you might know my daddy. My daddy was over here. He said, who your daddy is? The nigga, he said, he said, OG person. He said, nigga, nigga drop the Domino. And he said, he say, man, let me, he said, who your daddy? He said, OG person. He said, shh, don't tell nobody. Then he said, you come go with me. Come go with me. My, my, my name like a credit card, niggas. It's good everywhere you motherfucking go. I ain't heard from that young nigga since. He doing good down there. See, I, I got him around some good niggas. See, I know where the good head is. Shout out to the niggas in the Tylene service, man. Shout out to 5050 Twin out of H-Town, man. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to Ty Lee, man. Down there at the Tylene service, man. You know what I'm saying? I got myself under some good, strong structure when I was down there. I used to be a Christian when I went there. I came home, I'm not shit. I don't have no religion. I'm not joining no more games. No Christianity, no Muslim, no Jewish, no, no, no Buddha. I'm not joining nothing else. Right. That's the lad that you niggas won't brainwash me with nothing else. Right. I don't believe in Santa Claus, niggas. Right. You understand me? And uh, my son's on Ferguson right now, man. And he know one thing, his daddy is the truth. Everything he did, all the stories he that, that he heard, he had to go down there and see for himself. Which he didn't have to, but he did. Let me um, say, man, it, it, it's hard, man. But to see my son now, free my son Presley. He just hit green, baby. And pretty soon we gonna be yelling free the home of PMG. See, I, 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 I hope, I hope we do. I hope we do. I told a nigga I've been a gangster all my life. One thing they ain't never said to a nigga, I'll be glad when they catch you. I ain't never said that to a nigga. Right. This is the one time I'll be saying that shit. About your son, PMG? You, About PMG? Yeah, man. Um, and, and the day that, uh, you know, um, I, uh, the, I don't want the streets to do nothing to my baby, man. Right, facts. I don't want to get, I don't want nothing to kill my baby, man. Let me tell y'all, so I've been in murder worth all my motherfucking life. I, I, I seen what happened to bad, tough niggas. I see what happened when niggas do like my little son doing now, get out of line and keep moving around. And he, but he know when daddy tell him something, he gonna be still. Cause he know he didn't got it, he know he didn't put himself in a situation. You gotta say the only way you gonna get out this grade, you gotta climb out of yourself. You dig know what I'm saying? Cause you can't help nobody else till you help yourself. You dig know what I'm saying? And he done been gave the rules and tools to use, man. Hey, 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 I can't make him, but at the same time, yeah. I'd rather for him to go and go do that, man, because I know one thing about forward. These young niggas out here play for keeps. Nigga, we were playing for keeps way back then. And guess what? Them same niggas, little sons and shit, and growed up now, and they playing for keeps too. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? And uh, I don't condone violence. Shit, but I don't condone silence either. Nigga say, I tell my son, nigga, you gotta, you gotta keep pushing. If I can see a nigga down here in this rap shit, do something different besides beef rap. I know one thing about rap, man. We just not. Let me snip this in. Twisted Black never made a motherfucker this son. And he didn't give a fuck. Let me tell you, young nigga, something. And I don't give a damn what a nigga say. All you niggas go out to my son and anybody else that's doing rap beef, man. If you niggas that week where y'all wake up and actually, let me tell you, show y'all niggas something. Look, I got music for days right here. Right. I got music. I got tell you, all this is music. All this is rap. All this rap music, man. I, it ain't no way. It ain't no way in hell, man. Ain't no way in hell I sit down and write about. Say, hold on. Get back in, man. I'm in the interview right now. I'm at the house, though. I'm here. Yeah, say, um. Dude, I would spend my time and write something about another nigga, man. What? Y'all hear me, though? Who the fuck would waste your mic? <laughs> your, your studio time talking about the next nigga. Right, but it, it, it kind of seems like it's more in style though right now. Like, you know what I'm it's saying? It's in style. That's what's kind of like popping, even with like the, the Chicago drill. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of seemed like that's what's been taking place here. If, if you think that's and, what it and, is? And for work, because that's why people but, going but back this, to say. Watch this. That's, that's, that, that's like playing with fire. You, this is not the right city to play with fire in. Right. These niggas down here killing something. These niggas don't say. Fuck word always been like this. Let me tell you something. Like that nigga said, Dallas niggas will tell you quick, we don't even go to Fort Worth. Why? This motherfucker been gang infested for years. It's been a gang infested city for years. Right. Everywhere you know so, it's, it's some side of town that, that you can't go nowhere and say it ain't nothing over here. Right. This city been gang infested. Ain't nothing been down here. Right. 
Everything, we fucked everything in our way back then. Ain't no skating right. rings, ain't no club. What club is for work? Right. Oh, what, what, what bowling at? Where we gonna skating at? Where the movie theaters? Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing but down here for some five dudes who were Chris and some four trade insane gangs of trip. Yeah, and some, yeah, and all that all nigga, every, every, everybody know how to do this and this. Yeah. This bitch been gang infested. You dig what I'm saying? That's real talk, man. Ain't shit that insane. Murder work, man. Yeah, Murder no, work written on my neck. Yeah.